Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about CRO and I'm going to talk about the crypto market and why I think we are pretty close now to actually the bottom. I really do think it time is coming now where we will be making moves to the upside. I know we see that a lot on X and people, a lot of these big influencers say that, but I really do think, and I'll prove why I think that is the case. But before that, let's get into CRO because CRO, as we know, had that bit of a pullback where we found out crypto.com had that wealth notice and crypto.com is going after the SEC and Gary Gensler, which I think is bloody great, to be honest with you. I really do. Uh, and I really do think it's about time the crypto industry as a whole starts chasing after Gary Gensler. But hopefully, if Donald Trump gets in, Gary Gensler will be gone on day one. I really do hope. And we get the guy from uh, Robin Hood take over Gary Gensler's position. We never know. But anyway, looking at CRO at the most point in time, we're down by 45% down in 24-hour volume, uh, sitting at around about $6.93 million. And we're sort of just shy of $2 billion. So we have come down a little bit. But to me, is this a DCA opportunity? Is this a DCA opportunity for CRO? And I know people say it's flat. Well, it isn't really because we went all the way from $0.04 cents to $0.05 cents and then straight up to $0.18. Pence. Then we came back down to eight pence, eight cents, I mean. And then we're expecting if the market does start to rally to the upside, then obviously CRO is going to get dragged up there as well. And I think, you know, with everything they're doing, when retail come back, they're going to be looking at the obviously like CRO, but they'll be also looking at things like the meme coins. And a lot, a lot of people on X have said, "Oh, the meme coin cycle's dead. It's gone." No, it's far from it. It is really, really far from it. The Pepe's, the Cores, the Merry's, the Punkies, Bobo, Brett—you know—they are the ones that are making the movement. I think we are in a meme super cycle. I really do think. Once the retail start coming back, once the market starts pumping and people FOMO in, I think they're going to really, really explode. And I definitely want to be a part of it. I really do. And I want to be a part of CRO as well. Because who are seeing Crypto.com? All these football venues, all the people who go to football on TV and go to the stadiums, they're seeing Crypto.com. They go to Crypto.com and they'll look into, no doubt, the native token CRO. Nothing's guaranteed. I'm not saying everyone's going to buy CRO, but well, people will buy CRO. People are buying CRO. The whales are accumulate. We saw it the other day. $17 million of CRO being moved to another wallet. You know, so whales are accumulating CRO, and I'm accumulating CRO. But, you know, looking at the charts at the moment, it doesn't look great. It really doesn't. We've just been on a downtrend. But that's all, so that's all the old coins in general. Yes, we've been having meme coins popping off here and there, but it's been pretty much a downtrend. We've fallen under that area, which I really didn't want to. But if we did come back down one last bit, I think it's going to be around about to that six and a half cents. I know some people don't want to hear that, but I think that's the target. Win. That'd be a great DCA opportunity. And that, but will we do that? Well, like, obviously, it all depends on what Bitcoin does as well, because obviously, Bitcoin is dominating the market. And I think with CRO at the moment, I do think it's a DCA opportunity at the moment. Nothing I say on here is financial advice, but that's my own point of view. You do what you need to do, but that's what I'm doing for myself. I'm DCA into CRO, I'm DCA into Pepe, I'm DCA into Mary, Core, Ponky, uh, and co co uh, yeah, core. Sorry, I couldn't think it. Yeah, core is one of them I'm also DCAing into as well because I really do think this is the last opportunity. This is a part of one of the last opportunities I think we're going to have in this dip. Unless we get a, some sort of black swan event, I think potentially we're heading up. And we can see here at the moment, you can see on here, I've got, and we can see right here, the fear at the moment. People are fearful. 29, people are capitulating, selling. What will happen when we start moving up? This is what the, mar the market wants you to sell. They want you to sell because they want to buy it all up. And what happens is, is they release it. They let everything pump back all the way up. It's starting to go to Valhalla. And then that's when everybody who sold think, oh, my God, and starts FOMOing in. That's, my, that's what I think happened. It happened in the last cycle. Same thing happened. We had that COVID dumped. People got scared out of the market, sold everything. What was I doing? I was buying a dip. I was buying that fear. And I'm doing the same with CRO. I'm buying a dip. I'm buying the fear. You know, when people are selling, people are bored, I'm buying. Because what happened when I bought ADA? People say to me, CRO's doing nothing. ADA was doing nothing. ADA went all the way up to $3. It did. And I bought it around at $0.07. Cents. That's how much I paid for, uh, for ADA. 
and people said it's dead boring not doing anything it's just a snail and then it exploded when that bull market went crazy it exploded up to the upside and it went over three dollars and i think the same thing with cro i think everything they're doing at the moment and especially when they open the doors to hong kong and then uh south korea and then basically re-enter the us again fully uh, I think then we're going to get some big movements really up to the upside. And I think I want to be a part of that. And it, I'm going to be a part of it with my meme coins as well. I've got them all ready. I've all got my bags ready packed and locked and ready to roll. With And, and basically, when everybody starts foaming in, and, we, and yeah, yeah, that's when I'll be starting to sell. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. But overall, looking at it at the moment, but the looking at the liquidity at the moment this is on the short term we've got a lot of liquidity at the moment up at $62,500 at the moment but if we look on the 6 month on the sh short liquidations and we got here there's around about close to 10 billion dollars all that up there and what does bitcoin do bitcoin gravitates after time towards that liquidity it will go for that now what's the catalyst for that is that going to be could it well be if Trump wins? Because we're hearing news that people are starting to say, some of these institutions say, you know, we're looking at if Trump wins, $80,000 a Bitcoin rally. Now, what happens with altcoins if that's the case? I think we're going to explode. I really do. I think there's going to be an explosion because we know Trump at the moment is pro-crypto, pro-Bitcoin. So, and then obviously, if he comes into power, I really do think that crypto is really going to have go for a moonshot. I really do think we're going to really, really explode. But what we've got to bear in mind on the short-term thing, though, is uh, today, because obviously today we've got the CPI data, and on Friday we've got the PPI as well coming in, quote and core PPI as well. So these are really our market movies because we know the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, goes off data. They want to get down to that 2%. Now, obviously, coming off this data, that will de determine on what rate cuts we're going to have back in November. Is it going to be 25 basis points, or are they going to stick to the 50? basis points so obviously what data comes out today and tomorrow is going to be very important for that role so today it's going to be very volatile when the market's open and we get the details come through on those results so if you are short-term trading and you have leverage trading i'll be very careful today if i was you but for me this is like i said with crypto is so it's a, it's a dca an opportunity and we can look here in the wyckoff accumulation i do see we're around about this area mate we've had this dip right here we're right here that's where i think we are and we're all gearing up ready for that big move to the upside we've had the test for the bear market now we've come up now we're retesting and then i reckon the move is coming up further than we think and what i really do think this is the four market phases we've had the accumulation then we've had an uptrend and then we've come back to this accumulation range again and now we're heading back up for the uptrend i don't really think we're at distribution and then going for a downtrend in terms of the market into the bear market i think we're just fluttering between these two here accumulation uptrend back to accumulation uptrend that's where i think we're going and we could look at preta brand here it also we've had the harvard and what he's trying to say here it's the basic look at looking at this at the moment the observation is is it's basically showing that we've got like these huge gain huge gains coming in the post halving of the halving cycle period since march of 2024 as we can see here and appears in significant brief pause ongoing trend so he's saying basically on here that his target is around about that 135 000 it around about that August, September of 2025. And that's where I think we're going. I think this is an extended bull market. And I think we're extending all the way up to around about October time. So obviously, if Bitcoin getting up to that cycle, then over overall, we're going to make some nice profit in terms of the altcoins as well. So he says, close behind 40K negative, my chart analysis. But I think what he's saying is it's extending all the way till next year. The bull market potentially is going to be is obviously extending. And just if that's the case, we're in for a really fun ride to the upside. And then we can see the stock market bubbles. And that I really do think we're in this bear trap here. First sell off, and then we're coming up to the mediation area, and then if enthusiasm. And that is where around about here we start to get that retail come back in, FOMO in pushing it all the way up and that's what happens and then come towards the end of ne oh, well october of next year sep september time next year that's when i think we're starting to come to that blow off top i think but we're around about that kind of area at the moment we've had that dip been a trap 
and then we're coming up. And that's what I think we're doing. And we can see here as well, everything just seems to be playing out. Old season, this is a guy called Noodles, which is on here. And basically, he says Bitcoin dominance and how it works. Old season, second bull run wave is behind the uh, is just behind the corner. Every cycle has had a mid-eco bubble, a second wave, we're of a real old season, all roads leads to Rome. The time for accumulation is coming to an end. And that's what I'm saying in the video now, that I think we are coming to an end. This is the, I've got my bags and I've got all my bags packed. I'm all ready with my CRO and all my meme coins and whatever else I've accumulated as well. They're all packed and ready to go. Because like I said, as we can see here, we've got the great fear here at the moment down at 29. People are scared. People are bored. People are saying that old season's not coming. We're not going to go to all time high. We're going into a bear market and expecting 40,000. And what happens when that happens? I like this. I like this fear because what happens is, is the market doesn't really care. The market will just do completely the opposite to what the masses are doing. The masses are saying, I'm fearful. I'm not buying nothing because we're not going to do anything. And then what happens is the market tricks you. And then that's it. So we're all prepared now, getting ready to enter old season. Bitcoin is getting ready for a big move. And I really, what's the catalyst? I think if Donald Trump gets in, we're going to make a major move. Now, if he doesn't get in and it's Kamala Harris, I still think Bitcoin is going to be, make a big move because on both of them, money printed, easing's coming in. The money printer is getting turned on. And that means, and rate cuts are coming. That means... Therefore, more liquidity is coming into the markets. And that's how I think it's going to happen. Everything here, from, from this to that, to what Peter Brandt says, to the stock market mediation, and to what Noodle said, is all seems to correlate in as well. And then also, don't forget, we've got the fear as well, all coming in. And we can see Bitcoin at the moment. It's just been trending sideways, it's just been all, all chopping. And I keep going back to this and I keep on repeating myself on it. But we're just in this gigantic cup and handle. When, and basically cup and handle, it's not a gradual, when we start taking off, it's not a gradual takeoff. It's a big move to the upside. And we've got a big move potentially for a very long time. Now, everything in terms of, What's happening in the general markets now? We've got the we've got the market sitting all time high. We've had Nvidia hitting all time high with a little bit of a pullback. Everything's just with rate cuts here. Everything just seems to be slotting into place fundamentally and technically as well, in my opinion. And that is why I keep my CRO and I keep my Bitcoin and my mean coins already because when it does take off, it's going to take off. And it's going to leave a lot, a lot of people behind. Now, one other thing that I will mention is when we do make, start making your money, there's going to be people who will be holding and holding. It's going to go higher. 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 And then they never take profit. And then what happens is we start going through distribution and then we start dropping down. And I think that would be where a lot of people will get left at the top. Now, what I'm doing personally, I've got my plan. I know where I'm going to be start taking profits and I will be doing that once the market starts to move. And I've got my targets because I'm not going to be the one left at the top holding the bags. I'm going to be... So what I'll say to... Not nothing as I say with financial advice is to say to you, have a plan, have a strategy, have work out now. This is the time now to work out where you want to start to take profits. And that's what I'm doing myself. You do what you want to do. If you want to leave it and take a gamble yourself and not take no profits on the way up then that's totally up to you and nothing i say in here is financial advice you do what you need to do uh and that so yeah overall i think we're getting closer and closer and closer yes we might get a little bit of pullbacks here and there but don't forget every time we have a big move up we get a pullback big move up pullback so you just got to bear those in mind uh and that and i think buying a dip is the opportunity right now i think we're getting close now to that's it it's over for accumulation at the moment, DCA in, we're about to move. That's my personal opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below and give us a like and give us a subscribe. It's always much appreciated and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care.